Hi, this is SJ Talks in Life coming back at you with another video. Sitting down here at the park. It's very beautiful today. It's kind of cloudy up here. Um, um, it's kind of cloudy out, but it's a beautiful day. Hope it don't rain. <laughs> Doing a lot of driving around. Um, I know knew this part of the city was here, but doing all that driving around and stuff you know you miss a lot of things but actually this is a nice area i'm sitting over here by the lake it's a beautiful area over here um <laughs> this is my second time shooting this video it's my literally my second time shooting this video because the first time i had a lot of gooeyness on my mouth and i just can't put that out there i don't i'm embarrassed by myself so um I'm reshooting this video. I'm trying to regather my thoughts of what I was saying before. <laughs> so bear with me. <laughs> I'm talking, I want to talk about the, the, how black men here on YouTube are profiting, profiting, profiting off of bashing, humiliating, and disrespecting black women and how bashing and humiliating black women has become normalized in our community. That's what I want to talk about. Now, I'm going to mention Kevin Samuels. This is probably the last time I'm going to mention him. Um, and the reason why I'm going to talk about him is because he didn't start to blow up until he started. First, he was addressing the men. He was addressing the men at first. He didn't start to blow up until he started got on the black women bashing train on youtube he blew up he got he had over a million subscribers and he made a whole lot of money if you look better back at his vlad tv interview he in fact admitted that when he was addressing the men he wasn't really getting any leeway and men say well we was accepting the we was accepting it and all that kind of stuff uh wasn't just that he's seen he was, he, uh, Kevin Samuels was a fan of Tommy Sotomayor. Tommy Sotomayor says that he, he stole a lot of his talking points. I didn't listen, I didn't look at their channels, either one of their channels enough to even know for sure. But there were some other YouTubers that verified in fact that he was using some of Tommy's talking points. He was in fact a fan of Tommy Sotomayor. Tommy in fact played a recording of Kevin Samuels calling into his show. So he was a fan of Tommy Sotomayor. So he wanted to be like Tommy Sotomayor. And the, the part that's disturbing to me is that just because Kevin Samuels spoke some truths, he, he spoke some truths, and he did, I agree with some of the things that he said, just because he sprinkled some truths throughout his commentary, they people think it, it was okay for him to humiliate and disrespect and bash black women in the process. And they're telling black women that we should accept this because he sprinkled some truths in his, his commentary that we should accept the, the humiliation and disrespect and bashing. We should accept it because he was speaking the truth. First of all, he was everything he was saying was not the truth. Okay. But the thing, the, 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 the truth that he did speak, he was bashing and humiliating black women in the process. People are saying, including other black women, are saying that we should accept that because he threw some truths in there. So it's okay to disrespect and de degrade and humiliate black women just as long as you tell them the truth. Since it's in, in, in what world is that okay to bash people in the name of speaking the truth? You can, you can tell people the truth without, without bashing them. It's just like, for example, I talk about racism on my channel sometimes. At times, I do videos talking about racism and white supremacy. Now, in, 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 it, 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 while in the process of me talking about racism and I bashed it, it, and, and, and humiliated white people in the process of me talking about racism, would that be okay? There's people, YouTubers that do, to, do do that. I'm not going to name them, but they do that. No, that would not be okay. I don't have to bash and humiliate anyone to make a point. I don't have to do that. I can speak truth without bashing and humiliating a whole race of people. 
okay? I don't have to do that, okay? So there's, there's, not, there's nothing wrong with black men giving black women advice. There's other black men on YouTube that give black women advice, but they don't bash and humiliate in the process. So it wasn't anything wrong with him doing that within itself. I didn't have a problem with that. I have had a problem with him bashing and humiliating, disrespecting black women in the process. And people are saying that black women should accept it because he, he was take, speaking the truth. Just because he sprinkled some truth throughout his commentary doesn't make it right. They're excusing the fact that he did all this bashing and humiliation. I didn't even watch a lot of his content, but what little bit I watched, um, he was constantly bashing and humiliating, you know, uh, um, black women. You know? Do black women need to take accountability? Yes, we do. But black men need to take accountability as well. I think our children would be well better off if we, all of us took accountability. There's issues on both sides. Do black women have issues? Sure, of course we have issues. Every human being on the planet has issues. We don't have the market cornered on that. Black men have issues too. There's issues throughout our whole community. But how, how come we, why, why can't we agree to disagree? Why can't we talk about these issues without bashing one another? Why can't black women talk about the issues with black men without bashing? Okay. That's what my, my question is. And the fact that, that black men come on YouTube and are making, earning money off of the humiliation and, 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 and disrespect and bashing of black women is very disturbing. That, that, that Kevin Samuels platform really didn't blow up until he started bashing and humiliating black women. And then when you go and you you go and um and you go into his chats, a lot of times I would look at his chats, and the the men, the women that called in, the men would just be roasting these women in the chat, and he never shut them down. He never said a disclaimer and said I won't have no bashing on my channel. He never shut them down, but they were saying some horrific things about these women in in the chats. He never shut them down. And he, he realized all the traction that he was gaining by him humiliating and bashing black women. And I think it's sad. And the fact that people are saying that black women should, well, he told y'all the truth, so you should accept it. So on top of that, Humiliating and disrespecting black women has become normalized in our community. It's become normalized. And do you know the suicide rate is going up with black teenagers? It's because this is the message that's being constantly sent to our young people. Our young people is constantly getting the message. Our, our young black women, school age, black females are getting the message that they're nothing. They're looking at these black male YouTubers and, and they're getting a, a terrible message and it's breaking down their self-esteem. You know, that's, that's the time when, when, when young, a, a, a child is forming, especially your teen years or your teen years are crucial because that's when you're trying to form your self-esteem. You're trying to grow your self-esteem. And when they're constantly looking at and on, on other social plat media platforms, It's really terrible. What message does that send to our young black males that are coming up? That it's okay to disrespect black women and degrade them and humiliate them? But these YouTubers don't care as long as they make money. They don't care as long as they make money. It's like they're selling their soul to the devil. It's like they're selling their soul to Satan. Because Satan, there's God's blessings and there's Satan's blessings. Satan's, Satan will give you uh, fame and riches to do his dirty work. he give you fame and riches to do his dirty work. Okay? He will give you fame and riches to do his dirty work 
and you're literally selling your soul out. They're selling their soul out to Satan when they do that. That's what they do. That's what they're doing. There's a lot of black men on, on YouTube that give advice to black women. But they're not bashing them in the process. But guess what black men call them? They call them simps. And they said they're pandering to black women. As if it's okay to disrespect black women. It's, it's okay to disrespect us. It's okay to humiliate us. It, it's, a, it's a horrible, it's a, it's a terrible message. And I know there's a lot of broken men out here. There's a lot of broken men out here and I get it. Kevin Samuels was a broken man himself. Matter of fact, I got to, the, I got to looking in his eyes. You know, I can, the, the, the eyes are the windows to a person's soul. And I got to really looking in his eyes and I've seen a lot of pain in his eyes. I've seen a lot of sadness in his eyes. When I look at his, his pictures and stuff, and I really, really take the time to look in his eyes, Kevin Samuels had a lot of pain in his eyes. He had endured some pain. And a lot of black men are bitter and damaged. And they're, and they, and a lot of black women are bitter and damaged. And they bash, and they lash out. I, I've been hurt too. I've been hurt too, but guess what I did? I, I seek God. I seek God. I seek to have a closer relationship with God. I started reading in my Bible. Even got into a religion for many years. Drawing a closer relationship with Jehovah God. And I started learning my self-worth. At one time, I was very angry. I was very angry at one time. At particularly, you know, at the men that I felt that had hurt, hurt me. Uh, particularly at my youngest son's dad. Not going to go into all that. But I said, well, I can't be angry at him without being angry at myself. Because this, this is who I chose, you know, to be with at that particular time. So, yes, do women need to take responsibility for their and accountability for their choices and actions? Absolutely. Absolutely. Because you can't grow unless you do take accountability. Unless you do take accountability for your actions and and your choices and decisions in life and your mistakes, you can't grow. You can't grow as a person. You can't grow. So we all need to take accountability. Across the board, every human being on the planet needs to take accountability. It's not, it's not specific to just one type, one demographic. Everybody needs to take accountability. In other words, how are you gonna grow if you don't take accountability? But the fact that a lot of money is being made off of humiliation and disrespect and bashing of black women, and it's become normalized in our communities. It's not okay. That's the issue. And it's a lot of things that Kevin Samuels was saying was not right. Just this, a couple weeks ago, he was saying that, telling women that it was better to have a piece of man than no man at all. And there was a couple of women that called in and agreed with him. Especially us Gen Xers, we know that that's not right. It's better to be single than to have a piece of man. But he was telling them it was better for them to have a piece of man than no man at all. It's like sometimes I felt like he was purposely giving women the, the wrong messages. <laughs> Saying that women should put up with a man cheating. And women should put up with being in a, in a polygamous type situation. He rarely talked about Bible principles. The only thing he's talked about, encouraged, was women getting ma married before having, a, having children. He encouraged that, I will admit that. But he, he rarely talked about Bible principles. He talked about polygamy. He, he promoted po po polygamy. He promoted cheating. He, he said that men shouldn't be using women. He promoted these things. And, and then it's very disturbing that men said that he was 100% right on all these things that's uh, that's very disturbing <laughs> they, 
God doesn't approve of any of those things. It's the reason why black women's self-esteem, that's the reason why black women's self-esteem and black uh, 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 self-worth is low as it is. Because they were accepting and putting up with that. They were in polygamous situations <laughs> unknowingly. Uh, unknowingly they was in a polygamous situation unknowingly. Unwilling and unknowingly. That's the reason why a lot of black women self uh, respect and 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 in and, and their self in their 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 they have low self worth. That's the reason why they got low self worth because they putting up with all this stuff. They putting up with all this stuff. Mm mm. Not acceptable. Should women lower, should we lower our expectations? Women lower? Yeah, of course. No, women should know their worth in a sense of you're not going to accept a man into your life that's going to be, that's going to disrespect you. You, 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 you you're only going to accept a man that's going to treat you with love and respect. A man's worth is not determined by how much money he makes. I was going to do a video talking about that, but yeah. Is, 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 is he a godly man? Is he a godly man? Does he love God? Does he treat you with love and respect? Is he a good father? Does he do whatever he can to provide? And he was saying that women should accept blue. Yeah, I agree with that. You know, there's nothing wrong with blue collar men. You know? Truck drivers and construction workers. I'll take a truck driver. Matter of fact, that would be the ideal man for me because, you know, I'm used to being alone anyway and I like getting my me time. So, you know, he, he get off the road. We spend some time together, you know, be together. I cook and, you know, we spend quality time together. And he go back on the road and I got my me time. So that's a win-win situation. I get the best of both worlds. So, yeah, I, I'll take a truck driver. So there's nothing wrong with it. And a lot of black men are doing those things. So, yeah, he was correct in saying that. So, I mean, I, I agree with him on... Uh, uh, there was things I did agree with him on. But the the bashing, it was the bashing and the, the constant bashing and the disrespect and the humiliation is what I was not on board for. And it's a lot of black men are on YouTube... They are, are saying those same things. They have some of those same talking points. And they're not humiliating women. They're not bashing them. But it's got to come from a man that is, is actually setting a good example. He's a good husband. He, he knows what it's like. He's in a healthy relationship with a woman. He's a good father. To me, those men are qualified. He's, he's a spiritual man. He's a godly man. Those men, in my opinion, are qualified to coach women, to talk to women, to minister to women. They're qualified in my book. But if you, if you haven't shown that you've had a successful relationship with a woman, you haven't shown that you're a good father to your children, you don't seem to be a, a really godly man, you know, you're not, in my opinion, you're not qualified to, 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 to coach women. You're not qualified. You're not setting an example. Okay, you got to practice what you preach. And women, you know, there's some women out here that make a certain amount of money. And, and, and of course, it's quite natural that they're going to expect a man at their level. And sometimes there's an issue when a woman does get with a man that is not making as much money as she's making. A lot of men have a problem with that. So sometimes there's problems that comes with that. Now, I always said I didn't want a man that 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 I didn't want to make I always said if I got married I didn't want to make more money than my husband because a lot of men's ego can't handle that a lot of men's ego can't handle a woman making more money you know you know this celebrity women that has that's been proven time and time again that celebrity women are in these got married to these men that didn't have was as successful in them as they was and making as much money and they had problems in their marriage. 
because the men couldn't mentally handle it. The woman being more successful. That's the reason why a lot of times a woman, a woman will say that she wants a man at her level. If she if she gets a man that's not that's not quite at her level, okay, well he got she, she he he mentally got to be okay with that. And that's that was one thing that he kind of ignored, you know. Because it, it's it's not unreasonable for a woman to expect a man at her level. If she's at a certain level. It's not unreasonable for her to expect a man at that level. But it's okay to accept a man that's not at that level. But then you got to worry about him, his ego. Because the male ego is something to be reckoned with. And that was one thing that he didn't address. You know? But we got to stop normalizing the disrespect and humiliation and bashing of black women. We got to stop normalizing that. Just because somebody sprinkles some truths in there. That is that oh, it's okay because they was telling the truth. It's just as long it's okay that they was doing all that as long as they was telling the truth. No. And, 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 they're, and they're saying that black women should accept that because he sprinkled some truths in there. Just because he sprinkled some truths in there doesn't mean that it was okay for him to him constantly humiliate and bash black women. And, and that's what a lot of people are saying that it was okay for him to do that because he was sprinkling, sprinkling some truths in there. I can speak the truth about racism, but does that mean that it's okay for me to bash white people in the process? No, it's not. I don't have to bash any group of people to make my point. You guys that look at me on a regular basis know that. I don't have to do that. But if a person is doing that, they're trying to make money. They're trying to profit He's seen, he seen how profitable it was to bash black women. He jumped on the train. He jumped on the black female bashing train because he's seen how lucrative it was. And a lot of black men are seeing how lucrative it, how lucrative it is. And the same goes for the reactors that are not bashing maybe a group of black women, but they're bashing individual black women. He's seeing how lucrative it is. Well, what are you doing? All money is not ain't good money. What are you doing? You're selling your soul out to Satan. That's what you're doing. Satan will give you fame and Satan will give you fame and riches. He'll give you anything you want. As long as you do his work. As long as you do his dirty work, he will give you everything you want. Because it's God's blessings, then it's Satan's blessings. Satan will bless you to do his dirty work. He doesn't care. You're literally selling, they're literally selling his soul out to Satan when they do that. And it's not okay. We got to stop normalizing the disrespect. Malcolm X said it way back in, he, Malcolm X was ahead of his time. He said the black woman was the most disrespected woman in the world. Malcolm X is way ahead of his time and it has still proven to be true. I'm not saying that black men shouldn't don't shouldn't discuss our issues. But why can't they do that without bashing us? Without generalizing us and putting us all in the same box. I say there's issues on both sides. And that's the reason why we can't grow and we can't we can't unify and can't accomplish anything as a people because we got issues on both sides. There's no unification. There's no strong sisterhood, there's no strong brotherhood. And, and, and it's, I just think it's really sad that black men have to profit instead of going out building a company or a business because that's a lot harder. That's a lot harder to build a company and build a business. That's a lot harder. So they they take the, want to take the easy road to success. But that involves selling your soul. That's what that involves. It's, I don't care what nobody say. You're selling your soul to Satan. When you humiliate and bash and degrade a group of people to be to earn to make money 
to be famous and to make money, you're selling your soul out to Satan. You know, they can call it whatever they want to call it. Call it coaching, call it, I'm telling the truth. You can call it whatever you co want to call it to sugarcoat it. Oh, Satan, Satan, uh, deceive, Satan will say, yeah, oh, you're just helping them. Yeah. Satan will tell you that. Satan will say, yeah, you're just helping them. You're not bashing them. You're helping them. Satan will tell you anything so you can continue to do his dirty work. He'll tell you anything. Because Satan, the Bible says Satan keeps transforming himself to an angel of light. So he he he's very deceptive. He'll tell you, oh, you're... You're fine. You're not bashing them. You're speaking the truth. And at the same time, he's throwing you all this money. He's throwing you all this fame. He's throwing you all this success. In the meantime, he's destroying you in the process. Satan has no respect for a person. He don't care about you. When he gets, he, he gets done using you up, he's going to throw you away. Satan does not care. He gets done using you, he gonna throw you away. But they're they're doing they're not doing God's work. They're doing the work of Satan. They're working for Satan. They're not working for God. When you when you minister to women and you come in from a loving place, and you come in from a godly place, that's doing God's work. And you setting an exa good example. That's doing God's work. Same goes for women with the men. But if you constantly have to come on YouTube and constantly bash and disrespect, humiliate, hurt people's feelings, you're working for Satan. You're not you you're not working, you're not on God's side of the fence. You're on Satan's side of the fence. And then ultimately he's going to destroy you in the end. He's having you do his dirty work. He's going to destroy you in the end. Ultimately, we keep going back and forth at each other. We're not getting ahead. It was going to, we're going to continue to be divided as a people. We're, not, we're going to continue to not have any unification. In turn, we are not going to be cleaning up and building up our communities. And we're going to continue to be behind. Financially, economically, and everything. We, 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 we're, we're going into a permanent underclass status. Because we can't seem to get it together. So, that gives you something to think about and to meditate on, marinate on. Go ahead, um, hit that subscribe button, please and thank you. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up. Hit the notification bell so every time I do a video, you'll be notified. Until the next video, be blessed.